Let's do a row lock on top of a, just a regular normal arched window. And this should be pretty easy, a little bit less difficult than some, you know, kind of strange arched window, different shaped arched window, I should say. I'm going to pick up a snap from the center of this window and then draw out a line that's exactly half the distance of the window width itself. I'm going to do that on both sides. And this just gives me something to snap to. So now I'll draw up a line this way. I'll select that line. I will use the alternate draw mode or right click, if you will, to arch that section. And then I'm going to disconnect my original line and get rid of it. I don't need it anymore. From here, I'm gonna do a couple things. We're gonna get into that CAD menu on a PC. It's Alt-C and then P and P will place a point. So I wanna place a point in the center of this window and I wanna change my edit mode. So I'm also gonna go Alt E, B, and then P, and that is rotate about a given point. So that if we see our mouse cursor right now, there we go, we've got that rotate about a point. Perfect. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna take that arch I created and duplicate it and hit that little resize node, start drawing this out, hit tab or enter, and then I'm gonna specify three and a half inches. Now I'll use this continuation handle to snap this back and then in the edit toolbar I can use the close polyline to close this up and I've got this shape. Great. From this shape I actually want to make a copy of this. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste hold and then I want to get to my polyline tool and I'm going to draw out a polyline here. Not too worried about how I draw it at first. I'm going to center it on the edge of this arch and then concentrically resize this and this is going to become my grout line, okay? Now we've got to do a little bit of math. We've got a 404 casement. That means it's a 48-inch window. So I'm going to bring up a calculator real quick. And we're going to say that we've got uh, 24 times pi, so 3.14, okay? And that's our arc length. Now I want to divide this by the size of my brick, which in this case I'm going to say it's about maybe 2.25 or something like that. So I need roughly 33 bricks. So I want to set my multiple copy interval and choose evenly distribute copies when dragging and set that to 33. Now when I click on this rotate handle, that's going to rotate it about our current point. I'll snap it to this other side, okay? I'm gonna make one more copy of this section right here, paste hold, and I'm gonna resize it. I'm gonna resize this interior node and then resize the exterior. I want to get it just outside of our original. And from here in the edit toolbar, I'm going to look at this fence select tool and it's going to select all those individual grout pieces. And then I'm going to select our other little radius in the center and I'm going to union these. And that's just so that I can use them as a subtraction from this guy. So I'll use the subtraction now, hover over, select, Bam, there's my individual bricks. Now I can convert these, and I wanna convert them into a 3D solid. From there, I'm just gonna set the depth to whatever I want my standoff from the building. Let's call it inch and a half, something like that. And we still have this other piece right here that we can convert to a slab. And this one is gonna be our grout. And I'm maybe only gonna make this an inch standoff. There we go. Now let's take a look at this in camera view. Simple enough. Paint these the way you want to paint them. You might need to do a little adjustment to that, uh, that inner piece. It seems to have disappeared. But anyways, that would be how you can do it pretty quickly. Not all that complex. Maybe takes about four or five minutes.